Hey guys, how's here bringing you another video, this time playing Tropico 5, the latest Tropico game that has been released. It was actually released yesterday and I've played it quite a bit, just making sure that I kind of know what I'm doing as I really do enjoy the Tropico series. I've played Tropico 3 and 4 myself and now yeah, this is Tropico 5 and there are some new things in it which we'll go over today. <clears throat> we'll open a sandbox. Uh, we'll make a, I think, a new, a new dynasty. Honestly, uh, we'll call it whatever, the surname doesn't matter, as it's just whoever your leader is. And if you've never played Tropico before, Tropico is a basically a building game, uh, like a Sim City, but obviously based in um, the Tropical Islands, and it's pretty fun, so we're going to make our leader. Um, name Adolfo Forez, there we go, that seems a good name. It's sad you can't personalise it, but whatever. Uh, all tropical soldiers inflict two more percent more damage. And administrator, uh, no agent. Mm hmm, that's actually quite useful. I think I'm gonna go with that agent. Basically, like um, <clears throat> each faction has a leader, and that leader has a massive influence on the faction. So, like the rebels have a leader, um, the religious people have a leader, and if a group is giving you trouble, you'll be able to like bribe the leader off if you know who the leader is. Uh, what do we want our guy to look like? I think I'm going to go with that. You know, there's not actually that many outfits, honestly. I thought there will be way more, um, but whatever. Um, I like the colours, so hair. We have to have a beard somewhere. Where are your beard? Uh, soap opera? I, no. No. Pulp. Wow, that is actually quite like Pulp Fiction hipster. Nerd. Macho. Yeah, that'll do. Macho. Red, punk, black, white. Blonde, ginger, brunette. Oh, we'll just go with that. Hat, we don't want a hat. Accessory, Lennon. Classy, a aviators. Yes. Right, there we go. There's our leader. Right, what do we want? Uh, map, generated map, starting area. Uh, yeah, we'll just do it in the, 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 the starting one. 10,000, like medium, medium, occasional. Um, do, what map do we want? <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll do it the generator one. I've do already preset these saying the island size is going to be huge. It has hills, adequate resources, and the climate is normal. So, yeah, I, I want to have a big island. I like having really big islands. Uh, so, 10,000, I think that's fine. 75 population. Yeah, let's go. Start game. So, yeah, as mentioned, this uh, episode will probably be about an hour long. Uh, I've done these occasionally. You know, I used to, I did this with uh, Prison Architect when that first came out and uh, other games. But, uh, yeah, I, I do like doing this. So, let's see. We'll just do that. Yeah, buy silver package. Um, buy a plantation. Okay, so let's just have a little look around the island. So, it spawned our kind of hub of our whole operations right on the coast. And it usually does that because you need the dock nearby. But we've got a standard island, not nothing massive in like just complete like rubbish. Um, the way to get up, I would say the way I'm going to go is a road over there and that should be fine. But yeah, let's get building. Uh, we need to build fairly quickly. So as mentioned, I actually have played a bit of this game uh, just to kind of obviously familiarize myself with it before we get into it because I don't want to be like, ah, oh, I don't know how to do anything while recording. So I do actually know how to do quite a bit. Uh, which I thought was a good idea. Um, but if you're unaware of totally what anything is, this is the palace. This is where uh, my dictator uh, over there is. He's actually around the map walking around. This is where he lives. He has a personal security guard. That's all the uh, arrows. You know, this is all the people that are actually in this building or live in this building. So you've got the dictator himself and all the soldiers. This building is a construction office. These are all the people that go and construct your buildings that you're trying to place. Teamsters office, I believe Teamsters are the ones that kind of just deliver everything around, um, you know, take stuff from uh, production crops and all that to the docks if you want to sell them and all that type of thing. But let's actually get a road from uh, from here, um, which is the dock to our uh, actual place, so people will be able to like travel back and forward. That, that no road sign should disappear soon. Anyway, let's uh, research some stuff. We'll research all this stuff. So basically, this game uh, has different time periods. It has the Colonial, the World Wars, the Cold War, and Modern Times. To get there, you have to research everything. So when I research all of this uh, nine stuff, 
then we can be able to move on to the next one. And then the next one, you know, is another nine, uh, then another nine, and then I think another nine. And that's, but that's how it kind of works. That's how you get advanced uh, into it. Uh, yeah, we'll have some just money. Money's good at the start of the game. Um, we got a lot of shacks starting to build up, which I do not like. Uh, eventually, I'll be getting a lot of elements when we get into the Cold War and apartments when we get into the uh, Cold War. But for now, we'll just build a bunch of these. Um, we'll just build a bunch of them. Uh, I like investing into housing, honestly. Um, do we want to go over there? Mm, don't really know. They'll, they'll be built pretty quick. I want to demolish these t uh, shacks. I really don't like shacks. Nope. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just demolishing your houses. Go live somewhere else, please. No, don't rebuild. No! Stop. Alright, what's this? Build a library. Definitely will do that. Um, not now, though, because we don't actually have enough stuff. So the bananas are being planted. We want to build another plantation, honestly, fairly early with tobacco, I would probably say, because tobacco makes a lot of moolah. Um, where's a good place for this? If we zoom out, you're like, I'm... Is there actually a colorblind option? Because I am a partial colorblind. Yeah, hello. Okay. Did that work? Did I, or did I need to press OK? It's on. So hopefully, that would change it. So, ah, it does. Lovely. That basically <clears throat> makes it so the white, I presume, even, even if that is white, will be uh, if something's really good in that area. Um, okay, that's, that's a bit easier for me to see. Um, I think we have to build it, like, over here, honestly. Plantation, tobacco. If we build it, I need it to be level as well. There. Right, this is my thinking. And then a road to go down there. This will be the road, like one of the main roads, that will eventually loop around up there and go like expanding up in this area. There's some uh, two mining things up here. Well, obviously, we don't know what they are because we haven't explored them. But that will be like maybe iron or something, and that could be gold. So yeah, we'll explore over there eventually. Um, it seems quite a lot in the area. Oh wow, there's another one. So we've got three mining things in the a vicinity. So that is really good for when we get into like Cold Wars and World Wars, uh, which we eventually will. How's everything going? So we've got houses being built. Are all of these full? No, none of them are full. So we will demolish these. Because that may force people to move into the house. I want them to move in. And that's the whole idea. Uh, has that worked? Uh, one out of four, zero, four, zero, four, zero, four. Hmm. Demolish. You're, you're living right next to a house. Like, literally, you're living right... Don't build right next to it. Demolish. Demolish. Right. Move into houses. Zero, four, zero, four, zero, four. Can you really not afford this house? They're, they're really cheap. How's bananas doing? I have a banana. You're making a bit of profit. 96 bucks. Ah, yeah. This uh, this will be a big income source of money, though. The tobacco field. Although I'm not a massive fan of tobacco. It's very good in this game. For making money. Right. Uh, live. I don't have enough yet. So we're actually going to speed up time. While people make more shacks and annoy me. Um, zero four, one out of four, four out of four, zero four. Mm -hmm. Eventually, whoa, look at these. Oh, that's cool. I actually didn't grow bananas last time I played this, just to kind of test everything. I uh, last time I played this, as I played it yesterday, I got to I think it was the Cold War. That's the third stage. I didn't even get to modern times. Um, but all I have to say is this game gets better where the more you kind of play, the more uh, development, you know, the 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 longer you play. The more advanced everything gets, the roads, cars come a thing. You know, right now we've got only people pushing carts. But yeah, cars will come, and it's really good. Honestly, I really do enjoy this game. Made a little bit of profit. But yeah, this uh, this will start growing now, which is going to be good. Um, mine. So there's the mine. You know, you have to research the shovel, which we're researching uh, third. We're researching the sickle, then cowboys, and the shovel. Uh, what's this? Export 3,500 bananas. Yes, yeah, sure, we're doing that already. And we'll actually build a ranch. 
with hmm, we'll probably just do like cattle honestly and then we'll build another one for wool um, because wool is actually really useful so we have two ranches uh, which I think is the cowboy one if we look into research the sickle unlocks plantation upgrades and then the cowboys unlocks ranch upgrades so there we go eventually we'll be able to upgrade them the crown has sent you 5800 nice well I take a little bit of a drink my dictator is just walking around there you can see is him so I'll briefly explain the Swiss bank account thing if you've never played Tropico before uh, Tropico is as mentioned at this type of game you can kind of tell what it is but you're playing as a dictator. Now, the new thing is the dynasty, that basically you have different members of family, um, as I can show you here. Here's all different slots of different members of family. In this screen, you can choose which one you want to actually rule and play as. Um, you can customize them, you can level them up. Leveling them up gives them different things. I believe it just gives them a different, like an, an additional effect. You can also retire them and you can do other things. Now, your dynasty members, you can send to do different missions uh, at different times of the game. You know, it's apparent when you can do that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. And also the Swiss bank account has never really been useful until now. That you hide money away and now you can actually hide money away from different things and use it to upgrade your dictators. So that's quite useful. So how are these houses doing? 4 out of 4, 4 out of 4, 4 out of 4, 4 out of 4. Yay, we actually got these full. So that's pretty good. We've got like a nice row of like a road of houses, which is nice. Does this road directly? Oh, I can. Yay. That actually looks quite good. Perfect. Um, everything's looking all right. Now, the one thing, the only complaint I've ever had about Tropico, but it kind of makes sense. Why do this? Ah, here we go. Uh, so right now they're saying maybe it's time to add a new member to the dynasty. So as just I showed you, like a new family member. So how do I want to choose this uh, winner? So an arm wrestling competition, singing competition, synchronized swimming, or I don't need a successor. I'm going to go with arm wrestling. Right. We'll go with Foreman. So this is going to be the new one. Um, right. Okay. That looks fine. We'll make his head colour like blonde. There is my new family member. So there's my guy, like my main guy, and there's the the second guy. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. There you go. So you'll see you'll also see him walking around. There he is. So he'll be walking around as well. There he is. Lepardo uh or Leopoldo Flores. Flores. There you go. So now you've got the dictator or me and that guy walking around. Another mission. Issue extra rations. Uh, sure, we'll do that. Why not? Um, wrong one. E no edicts. Extra rations. Okay. Boom. Oh. New trade routes. I like having trade routes. Honestly, it gives you potential more income in the future. How much has this made me? This has made me 3,400. This has made me only 1,000. So you can see different profits are in different like things. This has made me 600, now 700. This is going to make me 400. Yeah, so things are going all right. How is the research coming along? Um, we've got no research points. Ah, I need a library. So we'll get that now. Uh, it's going to put me nearly in the hole, but that's fine. But basically, research, having a... Where are these type of things? I just found it. No, I've lost it. All right. Research and education. So each of these buildings, so a library, high school, college, observatory, science lab, each of these give you research points. These research points are used for, like, researching things in here. And then the things that you're searching here advanced you in time. So hopefully this will build quite quickly and we can get started on our research. Um, how is everything going? Do we need more houses? I think we need a couple more houses as well. So we'll buy two more country houses, which will put us in the negative. But that is completely fine. We'll get out of it fairly soon. Um, but yeah. Like this game right now, if I actually look at this game, it actually reminds me of looking at like Hawaii. When I used to watch Dog the Bounty Hunter. There's a lot of houses like this, which is pretty cool. But yeah. I missed that show. That was a really good show. Well, I think it's still on, but just a different variant. So you got all the cattle here. you got just cows. That cow's in a fence. 
The crown has sent me money. Thank you, crown. Important goods. We've got some llamas, obviously. Uh, but basically what this game is at the moment is we're ruled by the crown, as you'd imagine. Uh, I don't know which crown. It could be the British crown at this type of period, which kind of makes sense. Oh, do we need a foreign worker? Yeah, we don't actually have any uh, thingy. So we're actually going to have to pay for 2000 or a 1000 or pound or dollars for a worker, which is a bit annoying, but whatever. Um, they will come probably on the next ship. Um, but yeah, they were ruled by the crown and people in Tropica want to have their independence. That was like the rebellion or the you know revolution uh, movement that was just basically set as a pop-up. And we should be able to do that fairly easily. Um, as you can see, there's different upgrades and buildings. Like the, the upgrade for the palace is a personal death squad. Replaces the elite infantry in the palace with commandos. So just more dangerous units that can easily like, protect you more and stuff. One for a worker has arrived, 12 citizens. So yeah, we've got someone working in here now. We've actually got two. So that is good. So this will start researching and the sickle is going to take six months. Or all of these might take six months. I don't really know. I just had a hiccup. Um, but yeah, I think this is going okay. We've got a bit of moolah in the old bank account. we got stuff selling quite nicely. We've got not many shacks, but okay, we need a lot more houses. People are like really wanting these. Country house. Boom. Boom. Oh, we'll just put one more. Um, oh, another mission. Research the trigger. Uh, I think we're researching that, aren't we? Oh, yeah. We'll research that after. Cool. No, shack. Go away. Build menu. Do we want anything? Uh, tavern, maybe. How do you get in? Wait, where's the door? I think it's that side. There you go. Have a tavern. Opera house, grocery, uh, provides food. Sure, why not? Uh, put it like here. It fits quite nicely. And then we'll probably build like a road extending like out or something here and build even more houses eventually. Like, does one fit? Or, yeah, that way. And then... Hmm. Could do it like this. Let me just put it in place. So then now I know. Make a road down there. Then the next buildings or house built line that I do will be going down there. Then I can do another one there. Eventually I'll probably t like tear all these down and put them as apartments because they're just better. Um, for like you know just having more people in. But it's it's good enough for now. So we've got a tavern. A lot of people will go to this tavern. I bet. So we've got, it's already like full, the education needed to work in this is illiterate, so yeah, we'll have probably a lot of people in there. Manager, do we have one? Oh, we do. Uh, what do we want to do? Uh, generates research points professional to the building effectiveness, monthly base 10. Oh, yeah, oh, hello. Oh. Do we want more citizens or money? We'll have money. Uh, but yeah, we'll go with Inventor, hire him, because, yeah, we want more research points. And uh, we can actually have a manager for the palace. Thank you. So, manager, who do we want? we got Foreman. Reduces pollution. We'll do that again, Inventor. So, we're, we're making more research points off um, them two buildings there. Alright, what else do we need? How's the housing? Oh, that one's not even full yet. How the ranch is doing? Uh, money, money. Uh, yeah, you can see this has already made me ten thousand, so that's pretty good. That's only made me two. So actually, should we get another plantation on the other side? It's probably not going to be a massive plantation as it will get cut off. Um, plantation. Uh, sugar, sugar's quite a good one. So yeah, it's not a massive one. It does get cut off by the beach. But it's still pretty good. Good enough, at least. I like the music in this game. I don't know how well you can hear the music. Because obviously, sound settings is quite hard to set up perfectly. Branch upgrades. Right, we can upgrade this stuff now. So what upgrade does this have? Manure fertilizer. The effectiveness of nearby plant of every nearby plantation hydro thingies increased by 10. Yes. Um... 
Job quality is increased by 10. I don't really care. What's this one? Uh, job quality is increased by 20. Workers' wealth is increased. Ooh. Uh, increases effectiveness by 100, but the soil quality degrades over time. And nah. Don't want to do that. Increases the effectiveness of all other nearby thingies by 10. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. It's like an investment, because I think that will affect like all this stuff as well. Which is good. Oh, we got missions. Guard towers. Research the sickle. That's already done. We'll have citizens this time. So we need guard towers, apparently. So we'll build one. We're not going to build it opposite. We'll build it like one out here. And then one within the housing. You know, people may not want that, but kind of is like a nice point to put it. Mine's unlocked. Right. Eventually, we'll move up there and we'll be making a lot of mines. Actually, we'll... We'll explore up there. Hopefully that like does it all. So my, the unit, this uh, military unit that is based in the palace is going to go over there and have a little look-see. Oh, hello. Yes, more educated citizens. Eventually we'll need educated citizens. I presume one of them is going to take up that spot in there. Um, high school is required there. All right, it's going quite well, everything. They eventually will move over there, hopefully. 13 new citizens. Oh, we're getting quite a lot of citizens quite quickly. How's this going? Sugar. There's tobacco. All right, hurry up. Crowd has sent me money. All right, cool. How's everything doing? Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. I meant to click this. Right, we're not researching anything. Now we can research um, the, that, that, and that. There you go. All of them were researched at the same time. All right, quick, 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 quick. So that is... What's this? I don't know. So we'll, we'll have to move this unit around, I think. Because I don't think that's actually going to reach any of them. All right, research, okay, that's been researched. Move over there. So that is gold. What's this? Or is that not even one? Oh my god, it's not even one. It just looked like one. Uh, explore that one, because that one is. I swear that was three. Oh, yeah, it's over there. No, dead. So we'll put them over there in a second. But yeah, we'll make three mines, I think. Mines give you a lot of money. Um, what are you? Make two new citizens. Uh, iron. Explore. Over there. And well, that'll be it. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing. Ooh. Slowly. New trade routes with smugglers. Import revolutionaries through educated citizens. We'll have two free guard towers, honestly. Because that's actually quite useful. So. Free. One there. And. Okay, sure. We've only got one. Uh, so what's that one? That's coal. Awesome, right. Mines. Uh, mine. There. Right. There. Mine. There. Awesome. Awesome. Right. Now we need to build a road. Uh. Well, oh, for God's sake, the, the exploring in this game is a bit annoying. Like, I literally cannot build here because I have not explored it. So I can't build the road. Where's my units? Uh, oh, another quest. Yes, I just literally did that. Explore. Go over there. Where are, where are they even? I don't even know where they are. I've lost my military unit. Did they die out there or something? Alright. We'll upgrade this. Uh, plantations. Is this upgraded? Sure, we'll just do that. Whatever. It's upgraded now. Um, I have money. And I'm not really, I don't really put like money in my personal bank account. I never really have. 
Oh, auto save. Thank you. Alright, there they are. Ooh. Ah. What shall we name it? His Royal Majesty, of course. Right, now I can build the road. Alright, now we're getting the road up here. Right. From here, I can put this one there. So that connects to that mine. There. Where's the other one? Uh, one, two, so there. There you go. All the mines are now connected. I think. Yeah. Cool. Alright. So eventually they'll be all built. Uh, eventually. Yeah, them builders are on the way. They don't have cars, so they take quite a while. Um, military fort. Uh, where should we put this? I guess we would like put it like over to the left. We haven't got anything to the left. Yeah, military fort. Um, I don't want it right in the middle of stuff. I want it kind of out of the way. There you go. Make a road there. Perfect. Awesome. So these mines should get built soon. And I think we've got like good managers already ready for them. Now, if you're unaware what managers is... Uh, you can set someone, like a, a citizen, as a manager of a building and they can give different, like, perks to it. So some increase the effectiveness of the building, some increase um, the happiness of their staff, all that type of thing. So, yeah, each one has different ones. So manager. Lumber mills unlocked. Cool. Um, mining and oil. So we don't want, I don't want iron. I want gold to be that one. Uh, that's over here. So that should get built soon. That might be the next one to get built, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I'll, eventually, like, obviously this down here is not a very big area. Eventually the next place I'll actually start building is up here with houses and all that type of thing. Oh, we need to research. Constitution, um, red tape, and paper. And then when we've finished all this three stuff, we'll be able to advance into the World Wars. Build a new military fort. It's being built right now. Uh, new citizens. I can't click on that. There you go. His Majesty's Hello. Has hit a minor setback. It doesn't seem to work. Oh. The crown is determined to throw as much fruit at it as necessary to make it work. Um. Increase prices with increase revolutionary support. Six months mandate extension on completion. Six months mandate extension now and on completion. They shouldn't change. Oh, I've got to export 10,000 fruit. Oh, I just got bananas. That'll do. They'll do it eventually. Is this mine built yet? Why isn't it being built? Priority high. Where are the builders? Do they get lost? Oh, there they are. There's one of them. Huh. I need to click on him. Oh, that is too quick. Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, my God. I can't even click on him. Ugh. How's this mine doing? Wow. So it's got 95,000 uh, like ore left and it's already made me 1,600 profit and I literally just built it. That's pretty good. Right, yeah, he's going to go build the mine. The gold mine. This is where I'm going to make all my moolah. I don't know if the road connects to it yet. I think it will. I think there will be a road coming out of it. Right. Build my pretties. 48. 72. Oh, come on. Oh, it's nearly done. Should be done any second. Come on, you can do it. One man to build the mine. There we go. Right, manager. Um, Which one was it? It was that one, wasn't it? Yeah, higher. Awesome. Thank you. What? I don't know really what the budget does. Why? I don't really know what budget does, honestly. I don't know. I don't see the appeal of why you would like increase the budget. And so that mine coal. How's the, the thingy going? Oh, no quest. Oh. <laughs> 
We need guns, lots of guns. How else are we going to defend our liberty from the opposing of the tyrants and the despots? Uh, she right to arms. Okay. That's probably a really bad idea, but whatever. Issue. Right, we got a constitution soon. Thanks to your efforts, oh. the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. New trade routes. Right, we're exporting the fruit. There's our new military base, which is awesome. We get more soldiers, so that will actually probably help. Because, oh. my career as a weatherman is over. I promise everyone a warm and sunny day. And now Tornado. Oh. Yeah, go away. Don't hit anything. Please, it does, uh, it's hitting everything now. Uh, no, you blew up my grocery store. Rebuild. Just go away. God, how didn't this house get owned? Two people died. No. Oh. Um, but yeah, eventually we'll make this a jewelry workshop because we got we're probably gonna have a lot of gold. Um, because yeah, we already have a gold mine already mining, and this one's gonna be done soon. So we'll have coal and we'll have iron. So then we'll actually be able to make a steel mill. Uh, also, so this is actually a pretty cool island. Uh, so there you go. There's a the steel mill. But yeah, this is awesome. Uh, research, how are we doing? We're doing six months away from that. Um, eventually, also, you may be wondering why am I leaving this port point open. I like having all the government buildings near each other. So, like the embassy, the bank, customs office will be like all around this area eventually. Like I'll probably end up building a road and then like down there. And then hopefully I can build them on a beach. Like I don't know if I can. Oh, lighthouse. We'll do that. Um, boom, there you go, there's a lighthouse, that did something, that like, increases, uh, trade routes or something, provides additional trade offers, there you go, see, look at that boat, that's quite a nice boat. I, I've always liked Tropico, it's a really, really fun game. Hopefully, by the time this is, like, episode one is done, we'll be able to kind of make it into the next time zone, and I think we'll be able to, and then it's up to you guys if you want me to continue. Uh, as I said at the start, you know, in the comments. Oh, here we go. Oh, do I want to insult the king? Sure. Ah. Send him to go serenade her. Oh, my God. Give her a gift. Write her, write her a poem. Thank you. Ah. The queen did not understand a word. Oh. You are disqualified as her would-be seducer. Oh dear. So I'm going to get punished for sending that poem, apparently. Okay. His Majesty's Jubilee is oh. Present him with an expensive gift. No, thank you. I'm not giving you 10,000. Your Majesty. Things do not look well. For wow. For just seducing his queen, they cost me 5,000. Not worth. At least I had to seal the deal, and then it would have been worth. I don't think you invented red tape. Oh, god damn it. Um, I want to get rid of right to arms eventually. Marshall will now. Okay. Well, hello. Is furious. He has just learned that you've begun mustering a sizable army, yet you don't have a major general. Appoint one immediately. Uh, dynasty member. You're now the general. We shall defend our island. We shall. Oh my God! I have eight. Jesus, right, guard tower. They're always going to come from the beach, I think. Like, invasions usually come from the beach, if I'm not mistaken. 
So, like, if we just build them, like, near the beach, like, if we have another one, like, there, another one there, uh, God, we have so many. If we have another one right next to them, like, here, <sighs> okay, we'll wait till they all get built. I think that'll be about six, or no, even more, that's, like, seven. All right. How's the gold and everything coming along? Oh, we've only, we've only got one member of staff, really? Why? Oh, it's because we've got no houses up here. Uh, residential. Country house. Right, okay. This is when we need to start, like, expanding up here. Um, plantation. Pineapples. Why not? There. Houses. Country house. Boom, boom. Other side of the road. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. People should start living up there then, and then uh, be able to kind of work here. Because, you know, you work closer to where you live. This is how that game kind of works. Right, we've got five so far, guard towers. A lot of new people. Pretty good. Making the money. Do we want another, like, ranch? Should we just get another, like, cattle one? I don't see, like, why not? May as well. It's not you, but it's us. With your mandate dwindling away, we realized that this relationship just wouldn't work out. Oh. His Majesty asks. So. I just got owned. Wow, I just got owned. Oh my god, I literally insulted the king too much. He kicked me away out and I lost the game. Wow, that sucks. Well, anyway, that is episode one, and I sucked. Don't know how that happened. But anyway, if you want to see more Tropico, then we're going to have to, like, maybe start again. Or maybe I'll start it from a different time period. Yeah, that's what we'll do. If you want to see more Tropico, then we'll start it in the World Wars, um, which is, like, further on in the story. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. And that's it. So, ho un unfortunately, we got cut short. The king was not pleased with me. Because I kind of tried to seduce his wife. But anyway, that's that's been episode one. And hopefully I'll see you in episode two. So anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.